picture the scenario. You're in a high-rise building and a fire breaks out. Your beloved grandmother is trapped on the top floor and every second counts. You make a beeline for the elevator, hoping it will take you to her quickly and safely. But when you arrive, the elevator is closed and out of service, leaving you stranded and helpless. It begs the question, what good is an elevator if it can't perform its primary function? Let's start with the obvious problem with elevators, waiting time. Elevators exist to get us where we need to be on time, yet we're forced to pace around like caged animals for five whole minutes, waiting for something that should already be there, waiting for us. And let's not forget about the size of these elevators. They're more like shoeboxes than transportation devices. And what happens when ten other people want to go to the same place you're going? Suddenly, that shoebox transforms into a tin of sardines, with you and ten strangers packed shoulder to shoulder. Good luck making those important business calls with all those eavesdroppers around. But it gets even worse when you're alone with just one other person. I mean, what's the protocol here? Do you give a friendly nod and smile? Do you try to strike up a conversation? Or do you just stand there in awkward silence, pretending to be interested in the floor numbers lighting up? And don't even get me started on the temptation to pull out your phone and scroll through social media just to avoid the discomfort. Now, let's talk about the oh-so-common elevator breakdowns. It's like a mini panic attack waiting to happen, especially if you're stuck inside the elevator. And if you're lucky enough to have your phone on you, who are you going to call? Certainly not the police, unless you want to get charged with abusing the emergency hotline. And don't even get me started on the lazy electricians who are more interested in playing subway surfers on their phones than fixing the damn thing. <sighs> and what about the air quality in elevators? It's like the designers intentionally forgot to add some ventilation system and instead opted for a closed, sealed off metal box that works as a breeding ground for bad breath and body odor. And what's with the snail's pace of elevators? It's like they're powered by hamsters on a wheel. You have to set aside half an hour just to travel a few floors. And don't even get me started on the dreaded stopping at every single floor phenomenon. To sum it up, elevators are a disaster waiting to happen. Save yourself the trouble and take the stairs instead. <laughs>